Hi everyone, and welcome to Around the Table's first ever video blog. Today we're gonna be focusing on the holidays and all of those great parties that you're gonna be hosting. Today I am joined with my sous chef for the day, John Pereira from Three Desert Films. Hi everyone. And today we're gonna do a really easy and simple recipe for spinach and feta puff pastry bites. Okay, let's get cooking. So before you get started, what you wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and then make sure that you defrost your spinach. When you defrost it, you could just do it in the microwave. Uh, make sure that you wring it out with a clean dish towel or put it in a strainer, just to make sure that you get all the water out. Since spinach has um, a high water content, you just wanna make sure that these don't end up soggy. So that's something that you wanna do first. And then also defrost the puff pastry. Um, so that'll probably take an hour or two to just defrost or just leave it out on your counter. So John's gonna be doing the puff pastry and what he's gonna do, just unfold it. And since there are indentations in it, you just wanna smooth it out with your hands and just make sure that you have an even surface. And then make sure that everything is all set. Then you wanna put in your cheese. So today I'm using ricotta cheese and I'm using feta cheese. You can really use any cheese that you have on hand. I happen to like these, um, but the ricotta gives it a really um, creamy texture. So if you want something like that, I would go with these cheeses. So John, what you wanna do now that you have it all smoothed out is cut it into um, 12 squares. So while John is doing the cutting, what I'm gonna do is just add the ingredients in the bowl. Um, I'm gonna have the box of fresh spinach, so I'm gonna put that in. And then you're gonna add a half cup of the ricotta cheese. And then a half cup of the feta. If you like more cheese, feel free to add more. Um, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, and then I like to add just a pinch of nutmeg. Um, nutmeg is really great with other creamy things, so um, I'm just gonna add a pinch. Okay, and then you just mix it up. And then it's ready to spoon into the puff pastry. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is spoon the spinach mixture onto the puff pastry. So I'll grab our preheated pan. Um, I like to throw the pan in the oven while it's preheating. That way it's nice and warm and it doesn't make the puff pastry on the bottom soggy. So what John's doing is spooning the mixture into each piece of puff pastry. And I find it easier just to go through every single one first and spooning the mixture in and then folding them all together, kind of like an assembly line, make it easier for yourself. So after you fill each of the pieces of puff pastry, what you wanna do is just crack one egg into a small bowl. And if you have a pastry brush or something like that, you just wanna make sure that you go all around each piece of puff pastry, that way that you're gonna seal it. The last thing you want is to make these and have the filling come out while it's baking. So this is the best way to ensure that. Just make sure that you don't use a lot of egg, just enough to close it and to make sure that the filling doesn't come out. So once you brush the egg wash on, what you wanna do is just fold these into triangles. So basically just getting one corner and bringing it up to the opposite corner. And once you fold all of them, you just wanna get a fork and place it on the outside or around the outside. Um, that way the mixture doesn't spill out while it's baking. Um, something else you could do if you have um, a scalloped cutter uh, for if you make ravioli at home or something like that, feel free to make a fancy edge or something like that. But if it's something in a pinch, definitely use a fork, it'll be perfect. So after you flatten out each of the edges with the fork, what you wanna do is just do a basic egg wash. So crack um, an egg into a bowl and then use a pastry brush that you use at the beginning to do around the sides and just brush the top. Basically what that'll do is it'll make it nice and golden brown and make a really nice presentation for your guests. So make sure you don't put too much egg, that way it's not um, super moist, but just a, a quick little brush, um, that way they're nice golden brown and puffy. So after you brush off the last one, these are ready to go in the oven. So before we preheated the oven to 400 degrees, so mine is ready to go, and I'm gonna put them in the oven. And you wanna keep them in the oven for about 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. So 
put a timer on and make sure you put the oven light on and check in on them just in case they're done early. Okay, so these are all set, so you wanna take them out of the oven. And if you see, they're nice and golden brown. So once you get these out of the oven, what you wanna do is just grab a spatula and transfer them to the most fun and festive holiday plate that you have and serve them to your guests. And once you have them on your serving tray, they're ready to serve to your guests. Thank you for joining us today and feel free to check out our next video for sweet and spicy eggnog. Cheers. Thanks for watching everyone. And if you have any more food or beverage questions, feel free to check out my blog at aroundthetableri.blogspot.com or if you want to check out some awesome action videos, check out 3desertfilms.blogspot.com. Thanks everyone and happy holidays. Cheers.